In modern warfare, dogfights are history. The real battle is now fought beyond the horizon, where pilots can't even see their enemies, but one missile lock decides everything. And right now, the Indian Air Force is in the middle of a high-stakes arms race, against China's PL-15s and Pakistan's imported arsenal. So how exactly is India preparing to dominate the next generation of aerial warfare? From Europe's deadly meteor missile, to India's homegrown Astra Mk-3 Gandiva, and Russia's R-37M monster missile, this is the story of how the IAF plans to edge out both China and Pakistan, in the sky, and beyond. Part 1, From Dogfights to Beyond Visual Range The Indian Air Force has a glorious history of dominating in close-range dogfights. In the 1971 Indo-Pak War, IAF pilots ruled the skies, using short-range missiles and even onboard cannons to shoot down enemy aircraft in face-to-face -face combat. But the world changed. By the 2000s, dogfights gave way to BVR, beyond visual range warfare. Now, the winner is decided before the enemy even knows he's been targeted. Radar locks, electronic countermeasures, and long-range missiles, this is where the air war of the 21st century is fought. And India? It's adapting faster than ever before. Part 2, The Meteor, India's Sky Sniper. Let's start with India's deadliest missile, the Meteor. Developed by European firm MBDA, this missile can hit targets 200 kilometers away, and still maintain insane accuracy. Unlike traditional missiles, the Meteor uses a ramjet engine, meaning it can sustain high speed throughout the flight, even in the final seconds of impact. It has a massive, no-escape zone, if you're locked by a Meteor, you're almost guaranteed to be shot down. The IAF has already armed all 36 Rafale fighters with it, and now, a new 1,500 Indian rupees crore deal will add hundreds more for both the Air Force and Navy's Rafale MS. What's more? The Meteor's two-way data link allows the pilot to retarget the missile mid-flight and monitor its fuel and energy in real time. That's not just firepower, that's futuristic air dominance. Part 3, The Threat, China and Pakistan's Long-Arm Missiles. Both China and Pakistan have been racing ahead with long-range BVR systems. The Chinese PL-15 boasts a range of over 200 kilometers, while the export variant PL-15E, used by Pakistan's J-10C and JF-17 jets, can strike at around 145 kilometers. Pakistan even claimed that its PL-15s locked onto Indian Rafales in a brief border skirmish, a claim New Delhi outright dismissed. But the message was clear, India needed to expand its own long-range punch, fast. Part 4, India Strikes Back, The Astra Family Enter Astra, India's very own answer to the Meteor and PL-15. Inducted in 2019, the Astra Mk-1 has a range of over 100 kilometers, and it's already operational on Su-30 Mki and Tejas fighters. But DRDO isn't stopping there. The next variant, Astra Mk-2, will have a range of over 200 kilometers, matching even the best global BVR missiles. And then comes the game-changer, Astra Mk-3, codenamed Gandiva. Reports suggest it can hit targets up to 340 kilometers away at high altitude. That's nearly double the range of Pakistan's PL-15E. It's poetic, India naming its most powerful air-to-air -air missile after a divine weapon from the Mahabharata, and fitting, as it could completely redefine aerial warfare in the region. Part 5, Russia's Offer, the R-37M Behemoth. But the IAF isn't relying on just one country. At Aero India 2025, Russia formally offered India the R-37M, also known as the RVVBD, one of the fastest and longest-range air-to-air missiles ever built. Designed to strike high-value targets like AWACS, tankers, and bombers, the R-37M travels at Mach 6 and can hit from 200-plus kilometers away. If integrated on India's Su-30 MKIs, it would give India a massive edge over both China and Pakistan in high-altitude BVR combat. Part 6, The Strategy, Build, Collaborate, Dominate India's missile modernization is now a three-pronged strategy. 1. Buy the best, like the Meteor. 2. Build indigenous, like Astra Mk2 and Mk3. 3. Co-develop with allies, like the R-37M with Russia. Rosoboran Export and DRDO are already discussing joint production in India, not just for local use, but also for export to friendly nations. 
This isn't just about defending the skies, it's about turning India into a global missile powerhouse. Part 7, Why It Matters China may have numbers. Pakistan may have imported systems. But India's edge lies in a balanced ecosystem, advanced Western tech, indigenous innovation, and Russian collaboration. In modern air warfare, you don't always win by seeing the enemy, you win by hitting before being seen. And with Meteor, Astra, and R-37M in its arsenal, the Indian Air Force is ensuring that when the skies turn hostile, it will always strike first. The next air war won't be fought like 1971. It'll be fought in the unseen, at lightning speeds, where precision decides survival. And India, is preparing to lead that future. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon, because we bring you powerful stories like this every week. Tell us in the comments, which missile do you think will be the IAF's ultimate game changer?